Hello and welcome back students. Welcome to another video tutorial from Anando Backbencher Medicos. In this video lecture we will be talking about the basic overview of safe handling and shortage of water. As you know water is essential for our body to function properly and it helps in digestion of food and absorption of nutrients in our body. So we have already learnt about a balanced diet and its importance. Beside balanced diet, our body also needs water for its proper functioning. It needs water for digestion of food and for removal of wastes from our body. We need to drink about 8 to 10 glasses of water every day. Water which is clean and fit for drinking is called potable water. At some places, people use ground water that is drawn from wells or hand pumps and river water for drinking. In cities, people get drinking water from taps. This water is cleaner than ground water or river water. However, sometimes it may still contain some germs. We should take care to drink clean and pure water. Drinking unclean water can cause diseases like jaundice, diarrhea, dysentery and cholera. We therefore need to purify water before drinking it. Let us learn some methods of purifying water. The first one is boiling. The most common method of purifying water is boiling. It kills the germs present in water. The next one is the filtration. We can filter water through a clean thin cloth. We can also use a traditional filter containing sand and gravel. Filtration removes dust and other suspended particles from water. However, this method does not remove germs. For removing germs, water should be boiled after filtration. Nowadays, many types of modern filters are available. These filters not only remove the dust and other suspended particles but also remove germs. Water filtered by such filters can be directly used for drinking. The third one is the chlorination. Filtered water can also be purified by adding a correct small amount of chlorine in it. This kills germs and makes it fit for drinking. That's all.